I'm Dr. Cliff Davis, Assistant Professor at USF, partner at Radiology Associates of Florida, and an interventional radiologist at Tampa General Hospital. This video is going to briefly cover transarterial radioembolization, abbreviated to TARE, T-A-R-E, a procedure that is performed by interventional radiologists. TARE is a term to describe a procedure which involves delivering microscopic radioactive particles directly to the arteries feeding a liver tumor. If you have ever seen the video on chemoembolization, it is very similar, but there are a few key differences we will cover. TARE can be used for primary liver cancer called hepatocellular carcinoma or other cancers that spread to the liver, such as colorectal cancer. Prior to TARE, all patients are evaluated in clinic or by telemedicine. We need to review current blood tests for underlying liver function, your overall health, signs of liver failure, or other symptoms that may increase your risk of complications. If you are on systemic chemotherapy, we need to check your chemotherapy schedule. We will also need current imaging such as a CT or MRI. These imaging studies must be performed utilizing special techniques to visualize all of the tumors, so we may repeat them after the clinic visit if we feel they are not adequate. Tear can be performed to stop or slow the growth of tumors, termed a palliative therapy. In other patients with only a few liver tumors, tear can be used to completely kill the tumor using higher doses of radiation. Evaluation of the imaging and patient are most important factors to determine which are the best options. Often the decision for the best procedure is performed prior to your visit with the interventional radiologist, oncologist, and surgeon. Treatment of the liver tumors does not preclude other tumors from growing outside the liver, so this treatment is often coupled with other therapies. TEAR requires two outpatient procedures, or two procedures performed back-to-back -back on successive days. The first procedure is termed the mapping procedure. The second procedure is the radiation treatment. Both procedures are performed in a special operating room under x-ray guidance. Patients are under twilight sedation, which allows them to be woken during the case, but generally they do not remember the procedure the following day. The first mapping procedure takes about one and a half hours. It involves accessing an artery, usually in the groin or the wrist, threading a catheter about one millimeter to the arteries in the liver under x-ray guidance. Once in the liver, advanced x-ray techniques are used to determine the blood flow to the tumor. Once the direct blood supply is identified, a surrogate radiation dose is delivered to the tumor and to the liver. The catheters are removed and the patient leaves the operating room. A body scan is then performed immediately after the infusion of the surrogate radiation infusion to assure the radiation dose went to the correct location and there was minimal leakage to the other organs. After this scan, the patients are discharged home or sent to the hospital room. The treatment procedure is much quicker, only lasting 30 to 45 minutes. The operator already knows exactly where to deliver the radiation dose. Similar to the mapping, a tiny catheter is threaded through the arteries feeding the tumor and then the treatment radiation dose is delivered in the exact same location. The catheters are removed and the patient undergoes another body scan to assure the radiation dose is in the appropriate location. After the body scan, the patient is discharged home. Patients treated with tear have minimal symptoms for the first couple days. Over the following week, they typically have mild flu-like symptoms with fatigue, loss of appetite, and mild pain over the liver. Depending on the size of the area treated, patients may be given medication to treat these symptoms. To determine how successful the treatment was, we schedule patients in clinic eight to 10 weeks after tear. The radiation takes time to kill the tumors, which is why we wait two months. We obtain repeat imaging and blood tests prior to the appointment to evaluate the tumor size and liver function. If the tumor is not showing any signs of growing back, no further treatment will be performed, and we will follow patients with CT or MRI every three to six months. The biggest risk to tear is if the radiation leaks into the other organs during infusion. This occurs in less than 1% of cases if performed by an experienced operator. The other major risk is worsening liver failure. Some patients that undergo to tear have underlying liver disease or have been on chemotherapy that injure the liver. If too much of the liver is treated or too high of a dose is given, it can cause liver failure. Experience with tear is important to reduce those complications. We often work with other cancer specialists and surgeons to determine the best treatment for each patient. Discussion of liver transplant, surgery, and use of tear with IV chemotherapy, called systemic therapy, will be discussed during your clinic. Tear can be repeated in some patients depending on the size of the first treatment. Discussion of those options are done on a patient-by-patient -patient basis in clinic 
with review of their oncology history. We hope you have found this video educational and thank you for your time.